Come with me to Washington State for the very first time. I was there for a travel blogging conference held in the Tri-Cities area and got to see and do some cool things that I hope you'll enjoy. First, let's start with where I stayed. I booked a room at the Marriott Spring Hill Suites and I did not expect this room to be so huge. I was rooming with a fellow travel blogger and at no point did I feel cramped, which is always a plus. I also appreciate the spacious bathroom, more room for me to line the sink with my skincare products. All right, now let's get down to business. Hey everyone, so I am in Kennewick, Washington, or this area is known more as the Tri-Cities area. It's, I wanna say, Richland? Yes, I had to double check. It's Richland, Kennewick, and Pasco, I believe. And those three cities make up the Tri-Cities area, but the hotel I'm in is specifically in Kennewick, Washington. I'm here for several several days for a travel blogging conference i have a few trips day trips um before the conference then two days of the conference and then for three nights afterwards i'll be on a fam trip and just exploring the area we'll make our way from here to seattle and then i'll be going back to la but for now i just got here it has been a doozy my flight i bought the flight separately so my flight coming here had two layovers it was almost three hundred dollars i'm just coming from la the flight should only be like two two and a half hours it took me all day to get here i've been up since like 5 a.m barely slept but um i went from lax to boise where there was something something going on with the plane so to get from boise to seattle like a three hour delay. I don't even, th I don't think it took even three hours. They ended up fixing it beforehand. Maybe it was like two hours, but that meant that my flight from Seattle to the Tri-Cities area was gonna also be delayed. So it's just been a doozy. I was sitting in a restaurant in Seattle at the airport and I hear yelling and I see TSA run by, but it's like, it's more like a slow jog. And 10 minutes later, I finish eating. I get up to go to my gate because it's almost time for me to board my flight and there's a, piece of tape, a piece of yellow tape, not necessarily caution tape, but they blocked off people coming from toward my gate to me and me going to my gate. And they were like, it doesn't matter if your flight leaves in 10 minutes. They weren't even talking to me. Mine left at like 20 minutes. They were like, it doesn't matter if your flight leaves in 10 minutes, no flights are going out. The airport is shut down. Thankfully that lasted less than 10 minutes. I still don't even know what happened. I'm trying to like check Twitter and get the scoop on it, but it's just been a long day. Um, I was supposed to get here around 4.45. It's now a little after 7, so no worries. But I'm just going to relax, unpack. I like to set my stuff up, take my clothes and put them on hangers and stuff. And we'll get this trip started tomorrow. So my first activity was a peaceful kayaking excursion down the Yakima River with a couple other travel bloggers. The only other time I've been kayaking was at a random beach in Cuba where you rent one for a couple bucks. So it's safe to say this activity is great for first timers. We are currently out kayaking this beautiful morning, kind of moving quickly down the river. Uh, it is the Yakima River, if I didn't say that. Just uh, turning around. So I've spent part of the morning at a an excavation site, I guess you would say, looking at mammoth bones and such. I forgot all about this camera and that I'm supposed to be vlogging, but I did get a little bit of footage um, for like Instagram reels and TikTok. Uh, the bones that we actually saw were inside of a building and then the site, they have to cover everything because once the... Um, once bones or fossils are exposed to wind and sunlight, they'll, I guess, disintegrate. So I just saw them inside of a building and then we walked around to look at the site, but it wasn't much to see. So you didn't miss anything. But right now I am at, I want to say it's pronounced Palooza, but it's spelled, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Let me break out my brochure. I feel like it's like P-E-L-O-U-S-E. 
it looks like Palouse, but it may be Palooza Falls. And I'll flip you around to see. So it took um, a couple hours to get here from where I'm staying. We've been like stopping along the way or driving slowly to see, what would you call it? There's something called a coulee, which I believe is a former waterway. So we've been talking about ice age floods all day. I'm really, I'm into this stuff, but as far as along the drive, I just want to take a nap. But you see like valleys and canyons or what look like those. And we, we've just been tracking where during the ice age floods, it's like, eroded rock or you know passed through and made crevices in the land and the rock like this if you can see behind me um so yeah just for a couple hours i've been hearing a geologist talk about these things let's see if there's anything else to see there's a fence right here so thankfully i can't get too close apparently <laughs> at least once a year like somebody jumps over maybe they're trying to get selfies or something or something more sinister Ooh, there's a river but yeah so this fence is very necessary unfortunately i'm unable to add text but it's actually palouse falls i believe after lunch we just hung out here for a little bit and i took the time to finally dust off my drone and sorry y'all i'll do better at getting that footage next time i don't actually practice using it very much so every time i break it out it's like the first time i've ever used it You guys it's been like a day and a half since i've even turned on this camera because the way the conference is set up you have day trips and by day trips it's like a couple hours out of a day two days before the conference and then there are two days of af actual conference and then some of us are going off on fam trips fam it's short for familiarization trips i said that like i'm unsure I'm sure familiarization trips it's just hard saying that word um my water for my tea is done so these two days of conferences I mean of sessions like breakout sessions they are there are three time slots and then multiple sessions during those time slots so you you just choose the one choose the one that you want to go to the one that um i don't know most interests you usually with things like these and this is all conferences i'm not really taking away anything it's kind of rare maybe out of this whole whole week even though it's two days of the sessions um maybe i got uh, two tips <laughs> i don't know it's usually for me and again this is with all conferences not just this one usually with me i'm in there and i'm just like oh i already know this or you titled this this like this is an example but like how to get a million subscribers on youtube and the things you were saying like had you really didn't teach me anything <laughs> like your session had nothing to do with the actual title of it that happens sometimes um so i went to one this morning the second time slot there are three i think i said that <laughs> there are three time slots the second one i had an audition which was all of minutes but i wanted to get up to my room earlier i didn't know it was just going to be a couple minutes i should have known <laughs> it was actually a call back um so yeah so that was a couple minutes so i didn't i didn't want to go to a session and then leave early so I finished the audition, run downstairs trying to catch the tail end of another session. But the two that I went into, the first one I went into was done. And she was like, anybody else got any questions? And it ended like 15 minutes before it, it should have. And then I was like, all right, I'll just go to another one. I get there and like she's speaking for three minutes before it's over, if even three whole minutes, like y'all. And that one still had like a good 10 minutes for them to go. Um, so great that they didn't, I don't know, ramble on the whole time, but it doesn't benefit me. So yes, 
the reason why I haven't picked up the camera and now I'm speaking for minutes is because this is all that's going on for the, um, not the next two days, this is day two. Tomorrow, we'll start a new video because I start my fam, aka familiarization trip. And you are it's called that because you're getting familiarized with the area that you'll be covering. So all of us or most of us will be writing and producing content about the part of the state that we will be visiting. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my tea. Maybe create a TikTok um, because for the last two days, because this is all I've been doing, sitting in rooms and listening to people speak. I haven't been uploading any content, which usually I don't care about, but because I'm about, I started uploading content and then tomorrow I'm going to start again. I don't want to go days without doing it. So trying to stay in the groove. So I will see you guys tomorrow in a new video.